as i navigate through some turbulent emotions i find solace in the comfort of friendship today amidst the storm within i seek the shelter of my friends understanding hearts their presence a soothing balm to my weary soul reminding me that in vulnerability strength emerges With every shared moment I'm reminded of the profound beauty of connection where laughter dances amidst tears and understanding transcends words and of course food Hey guys. Ah, these are my nails. This is how it turned out. Yeah, I love that. And then I did my hair. Uh tried to texturize it. Let me just say that I thank God for my friends that in my season of hope, in my season of waiting, in my season of confusion, they have been there for me like i've done some things that are seemingly crazy even to me and um i can be able to look back and know that my friends i, I mean my core friends were there for me they inspired me to hope they inspired me to like go and they like prayed for me and um, when i thought i could not be able to go on i'm so glad for the friends that God has given me. I'm also grateful for God because you know, the state that I have been in, I don't know if I would manage without God. I of course I would not even be able to come out of it alive. And the past two Sundays, God has just been speaking to me through the pulpit of Sitam Karen. It's funny because today uh when we woke up and then the route that we wanted to use was closed and I was like ah I can just hop in into any near church but I'm so glad that I went because yo we were being preached on Ezekiel chapter 37 you know about speaking to the dry bones and all and things two things really stuck with me the process and also prophesying part and the pastor was saying that um when God told um asked Ezekiel like can these bones live Ezekiel said god you know and that one was not a statement of doubt it was like god this situation if these bones are to live again only you it can only be you and he was just saying that there are things that you may look in your life that lord if you don't come through if you don't come through there's no any other there's no person there's no money no education no connection would ever get me out of this place you alone and the other thing he said was the process the process that god is a god of process the tendons were going to each other you know each bone was going to the other bone there was no confusion you know it takes a process the other thing that has stuck with me is that when when god was speaking to ezekiel and he telling him to prophesy it was a land of dry bones but as ezekiel co uh, continued and as he, as he obeyed the command and prophesied that's when the sound came on the rattling and the bone to bone and all that and it was like in whatever situation you're in prophesy prophesying is not just about foretelling the future but speaking the word of god in your situation and i'd like to encourage you even as i encourage myself that whatever situation encourage yourself to speak the word of god in it and as you do so god is going to work in it okay i am so so blessed and i'm just going to leave a clip of um the sermon that we had and i hope that it blesses you and gives you a reason to hope and to trust in this god like you god can be trusted thank you so much guys for watching and if you liked this video please comment down below in ways that you trusted god and he came through for you or maybe you're waiting you're in the season of waiting do not lose hope the answer is coming 
So thank you and see you guys in Vlogmas. Because after this, we are going straight away into the holiday season. Bye and be blessed by the most. Respect me. The problem is that sometimes we give up too early. We start praying concerning something and we start seeing certain changes and then we give up. Or when he doesn't answer in the time that we expect him to answer, we throw in the towel and we, we, we kind of take a step back because we feel that he's taking too long. I want to tell somebody who is in this place, probably you have been praying concerning some things that has taken a long time. Maybe it's has taken a few years. I want to tell you that it's all in the process. I said it's all in the process because God, listen to me, listen. God finishes whatever he starts. If he said it, he will do it. Now, I am a human being. If I can give you a promise that tomorrow I might not be able to deliver, isn't it? But when God speaks it, God is not a man that he should lie. Nor the son of man that he should change his mind. If he said it, he will do it. But sometimes between the, the, the saying and the doing, sometimes things seem to go from bad to us. I'm here to tell you it's all in the process. Please don't give up praying for that child. They seem to be getting worse the more you pray. Have you ever noticed sometimes the more you pray, the worse it gets? Come on, talk to me in this house. In fact, so much so that sometimes you feel like, hey, maybe I'm troubling some demons somewhere the more I pray. I want to tell you, please be encouraged. Keep praying. Yeah. It's all in the process. Somebody say process. process. When he said he will do it, he will do it. He will do it for you. Some of you are about to experience your answers, receive your answers before the end of this year. In Jesus' name. And then you will look.